Hello, I'm High Hill Knight. Welcome to my channel. This is my Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince pitch meeting reaction. Three, two, one. So, you have a new Harry Potter movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. And so the Death Eaters are getting real bold, right? Like, they straight up destroy the Millennium Bridge in London. Oh, man, bad guys hate when bridges are standing. Yeah, they do. Doesn't Harry Potter technically take place in the 90s, though? It does, yeah. Wasn't that bridge built in the year 2000? There's no way for me to check that, sir. Oh, okay, but there is, though. <laughs> Actually, no. So we're gonna meet up with Harry Potter, and he's straight up reading a magical newspaper in front of muggles in a coffee shop. Oh, this guy never learns not to do magical stuff in front of muggles. He certainly doesn't, sir. So he has this flirty thing going on with this girl, but then Dumbledore pops up like, hey, no, Harry, it's time for my annual child endangerment plan. <laughs> oh, that's cute. That's his favorite thing, putting kids in mortal danger. <laughs> yeah, so Dumbledore needs some crucial information from this Professor Slughorn guy that was Voldemort's teacher back in the day. Okay. But Slughorn is ashamed, and so he's hiding the truth. But Dumbledore needs this information. You know, the fate of the world is at stake. Wow, so I guess he can use some of that truth serum stuff on him, huh, if the world is in danger. Yeah, I guess so, but instead he's gonna hire this guy as a teacher for an entire school year and send the teenager with PTSD on a multiple month-long spy mission. Yeah, I mean, that plan works too, that's just as good. Plus, Voldemort usually attacks at the end of the school year, so there's plenty of time here. That's a good point, sure. And so also, Draco Malfoy has been tasked with killing Dumbledore, and Professor Snape takes an unbreakable vow to protect him. Wow, an unbreakable vow, huh? Can that be broken? It no. Okay, got it. That makes sense. <laughs> so eventually the school year starts and Harry gets this used textbook that says it belonged to the Half-Blood Prince. Right. And this thing has handwritten instructions in it that are better than the actual book instructions, and so Harry makes the perfect liquid death potion. Feels kind of dangerous to have a bunch of teenagers try to make liquid death potion. Yeah, but this is Hogwarts, so they don't really teach kids anything unless it could lead to them dying a horrible death. Fair enough. So because Harry made the best liquid death potion, Professor Slughorn gives them a vial of liquid luck. What's that? Oh, it's this freaking potion that gives you incredible luck, but it's pretty hard to make, so it's pretty rare. Couldn't you take some, and then while you have incredible luck, try to make some more? Hey, shut up, and so Harry has this <laughs> bottle he can use any time. Wow, so I guess he uses it to get the information he needs from Slughorn, huh? <laughs> yeah, he'll eventually get around to doing that towards the end of the school year, but right now we gotta focus on the meat of the movie. Oh, that's right, in the book there's the whole mystery about who the Half-Blood Prince is, and Harry learning a bunch of stuff about Voldemort's past. Yeah, I mean, that'll be in here a tiny bit, but that's not what I'm talking about. What are you talking about then? Teenage romance! Oh, right, okay. I kind of want to know a lot more about the evil Dark Lord and the potential end of the world, though. Yeah, that kind of stuff is mostly going on in the background, but did you know that Ginny Weasley is dating Dean Thomas? I... No, I guess I didn't know that. And Ron starts dating Lavender Brown, who's completely changed since her first years at Hogwarts. Oh, like she grew up? No, she's white now. She didn't used to be. Oh, my God. <laughs> and Hermione's jealous of their relationship because she has a crush on Ron. Oh, uh, what's going on with Voldemort, though? And eventually, Ginny and Dean Thomas break up, so now Harry's got a shot with her. All right, I mean, okay, do they at least have good chemistry? Not even a little. It's going to be super hard to watch. Dang. So she's going to feed him a little cookie and tie his shoes for him. Uh. And you'll never get guess who Hermione invites to Slughorn's Christmas party? I don't particularly care. Cormac McClaggan! Sure, okay, all right. The world's in danger, though, right? Should we maybe spend a bit of time on that? And Slughorn taught his students how to make a love potion, and Ron accidentally takes some that was meant for Harry. Love potion, right, that thing that JK included in the book with horrible moral implications. And while he's in the hospital wing, he asks for Hermione instead of Lavender, so him and Lavender break up. Okay, can we, can there be some kind of action scene, maybe, please? Okay, fine, sir, tell you <laughs> you what, I'll have some Death Eaters set the Weasley house on fire. Does that happen in the book? No. Nope. Isn't that something they could pretty easily put out with magic? Probably, yeah, but we'll just have them watch it happen and look all sad. Alright, I mean, it's not a love scene, so that does feel like a breath of fresh air to me. Oh, and also throughout the movie, we're gonna sprinkle in little scenes of Draco Malfoy walking around Hogwarts all sketchy and going into the Room of Requirement. Okay. And Harry's gonna confront him at a certain point and use this Sectum Sempra spell he read about in his book, but it turns out to be deadly. Oh. Yeah, but luckily Snape saved Draco's life at the last second. Wow, so Harry must get in a ton of trouble. Not particularly, no. I feel like he's gotten into a bunch of trouble for much less than almost killing a student. Yeah, but no, this is all good. This is okay, though. Well, okay, then. So then finally, Harry's gotta get this information from Slughorn, because the end of the year is approaching fast. Man, well, it's gonna be hard to get that secret out of Slughorn. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, he uses the liquid luck. <laughs> oh, right, it's true. That thing he had the entire time that he could have used at any point. That's right. And so he finds 
turns out that Slughorn had told Voldemort about how to make horcruxes and split his soul into multiple pieces and shove them into objects. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Wow. And so Dumbledore's <laughs> like, right, okay, well, we already got two of the objects, and I think I know where the third is. Wait, so he already knew about the Horcruxes? I guess so, sir. But then to get this next Horcrux, Harry's got to force Dumbledore to drink some cursed water. Oh, uh, forcing old people to drink is tight. Okay, and so they head back to Hogwarts, and Draco has managed to get some Death Eaters into the school. Why does he need the Death Eaters there? Because he needs to kill Dumbledore. So they help with that? No, he just kind of confronts him on his own. Oh, okay. But then Snape pops out and kills Dumbledore instead of Draco. Draco. Oh no. So Harry's so upset, he chases Snape and the Death Eaters and tries to kill Snape with Sectum Sempra. Jeez. And then Snape knocks Harry down and he's like, hey, guess what? I'm the Half-Blood Prince. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I guess if I had spent more time on that mystery, that would have been a bigger reveal, huh? Maybe. And Bellatrix wants to kill Harry, but Snape is like, no, he's for the Dark Lord. And she's like, oh yeah, you're right, okay. So they kidnap him and bring him to Voldemort? No, they just kind of leave him there. Oh, interesting strategy. And so, yeah, then everybody's pretty sad, and that's about it. What do you think? Well, I mean, honestly, it sounds like we're spending way too much time on teenage romance in this one. Yeah, well, see, the thing is, everybody's talking about those Twilight books, so I figure we could get in on that action a bit. Oh, that's a good point. I I like the way you money. Thank you. Man, I can't believe we only have one of these books left to adapt after this. I know, sir. One more movie and that's it. No more money. No more money, that's it. Unless. <laughs> oh, I love these fish movies. It shows how ridiculously dangerous and nonsensical magic is. Oh, that's my reaction. Like, button, subscribe, share. I'm High Heel Knight. Find inspiration everywhere. <laughs>